The Novartis-sponsored Ask to Escalate study is currently enrolling in the United States. Ask to Escalate is a phase two dose escalation trial of asiminib monotherapy for second and first line CML chronic phase. All patients will start treatment with asiminib, 80 milligram daily, and can dose escalate if not meeting response milestones. The primary endpoint is major molecular response at 12 months in second line patients. Ask to Escalate is now enrolling. Late breaking abstract number four, another plenary abstract, is the phase three LORA trial. This is a trial of osimertinib, which is a CNS active EGFR tyrosine kinase inhibitor following chemo and radiation therapy versus placebo following chemo and radiation therapy in unresectable stage three EGFR mutant non-small cell lung cancer. About 90% of stage three non-small cell lung cancer is unresectable. So this is the majority of stage three non-small cell lung cancer. And about a third of patients in this category have EGFR mutations. So this is a, a large number of stage three non-small cell lung cancer patients. The standard of care currently before this trial was um, having chemo and radiation, the radiation given either sequentially or concurrently, followed by consolidation with dravolumab if there's no progression. And the benefit of immunotherapy, especially in this EGFR mutant group, the third of patients in, in this setting, uh, is really unresolved. Now, osimertinib is already approved in EGFR mutant non-small cell lung cancer. It's approved in the metastatic setting um, with EGFR mutations, and it's approved in the adjuvant setting um, after resection. So only in those who have resectable um, uh, non-small cell lung cancer. That could be stage one, two, or three. But to date, there is no study and no approval in the non-resectable setting until the LORA trial. In this trial, all patients received the standard of care part of platinum-based chemo with either sequential or, or concurrent radiation. Um, when they finished that, if there was no progression, they were randomized two to one to receive osimertinib, 80 milligrams daily, or a placebo, 80 milligrams daily. They continued this treatment until progression, and at the time of progression, if the patients were on the placebo arm, crossover uh, was offered. The primary endpoint is progression-free survival. 216 patients were randomized. For the primary endpoint, progression-free survival, you don't need a magnifying glass to see the difference. This is one of the most impressive differences I've seen at this meeting. Osimertinib had a 39.1 month um, median progression-free survival compared to only 5.6 months for placebo, a hazard ratio of 0.16. 24-month progression-free survival was 65% versus 13%. Now, overall survival was not the primary endpoint, but obviously one of the most important clinically relevant endpoints. And so an interim overall survival was presented it's only about 20% mature, meaning of the events needed to do a full overall survival of, uh, analysis, we only have about 20% of the deaths needed. But it's trending with a hazard ratio of 0 0.81 in the direction of favoring osimertinib. Grade 3, 4 uh, AEs were higher with osimertinib compared to placebo, 35% versus 12%. Radiation pneumonitis was the most common side effect. Most of it was grade one and two. It was 48% with osimertinib and 38% with placebo. An impressive 82% of patients on the placebo arm whose tumors had progressed were able to receive osimertinib after progression. And because osimertinib is CNS active, they looked at brain mets that developed during the course of the trial. 
and that was reduced with osimertinib, 8% versus 29%. My takeaways from this, um, osimertinib has high efficacy in EGFR mutant, unresectable stage three non-small cell lung cancer. It was not compared to the current standard of care, which is immunotherapy. So that is a negative of the trial, although there's been a big debate about how much immunotherapy adds in the CGFR mutant population. I do think we will need to investigate that a bit further. Um, Osimertinib is an effective treatment option now for patients who fall into this category, and I think it will change standard practice.